Conversions of number systems. We'll start with conversion from decimal to binary, octal, or hexadecimal. Our strategy here is only by successive division. We will divide the given decimal number and the succeeding quotients by 2 for binary, 8 for octal, and 16 for hexadecimal. Then we will record the successive quotients and remainders, and will only stop when the quotient is zero. The binary, octal, or hexadecimal values are the remainders written from the bottom to the top. Example, convert 348 base 10 to binary. When we say base 10, meaning 348 is from decimal number system. Okay, so we will use the successive division. So this is binary, so we will divide the given decimal number by 2. So 348 divided by 2 is we have this, 174. So 174 remainder 0, we have no remainder. Next, the quotient here is only 174. So we will divide 174 by 2. So we have 87, remainder 0. Then our new quotient is 87, so we will divide 87 by 2. We have 43.5 or 43 remainder 1. Now, how did we get this remainder 1? We'll just multiply this decimal number 0.5 and 2. Okay, so 0.5 times 2 is 1. Now, the quotient here is 43, so we will only divide 43 by 2 and not 43.5, only the quotient. So 43 divided by 2 is 21.5, which is equal to 21 remainder 1. Then 21 divided by 2, we have 10.5, so 10 remainder 1. 10 divided by 2 is 5, so 5 remainder 0. 5 divided by 2 is 2.5 or 2 remainder 1. 2 divided by 2 is 1 or 1 remainder 0. So the quotient here is not yet 0, so we will not stop. 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5 or 0 remainder 1. So take note, the quotient here is 0, so we will stop now. Therefore, the binary number for 348 is the remain or are the remainders from the bottom to the top. So we have the answer is 10101100 base 2. Next, now how about octal? We will use the same procedure, but of course, we will divide the given decimal number by 8 because it is octal. So 348 divided by 8 is 43.5 or 43 remainder 4. So the same thing, the decimal number here is 0.5, we will multiply it by 8, okay, because we're now in octal. So 8 times 0.5 is 4, that is why it is remainder 4. Next, our quotient here is 43, so we will divide 43 by 8, which is equal to 5.375, or 5 remainder 3. So do not round off this 0.375, okay? So just multiply this 0.375 by 8 to get remainder 3. So 5 divided by 8 is equal to 0 0.625, which is equal to 0 remainder 5. So since this is 0, so we will stop now. Therefore, the octal number for 348 is 534 base 8. And last, for hexadecimal, we will do the same thing, but this time, we will divide the given number by 16 because we are now on hexadecimal. So, 348 divided by 16 is 21.75, which is, which is equal to 21 remainder 12. Again, this decimal part, 0.75, will be multiplied by 16 or to 16. That's why we get the remainder 12. And again, we will only divide the quotient. So 21 divided by 16 is 
So this is equal to 1 remainder 5. Next, we have 1 divided by 16. We have 0 0.0625 or this is equal to 0 remainder 1. So this time again, we arrived at the quotient 0. So we will stop. So since this is hexadecimal, take note that R or remainder 12, so 12 is equal to C. Since 10 is A, 11 is B, 12 is C. So therefore, we have now the answer 1, 5, C, base 16. So if you notice, the three conversions are almost similar. They only differ with their with the number number uh, divide. Okay, so for you to practice, you practice this one. You may pause the video. Okay, and now let's go to the vice versa. Conversion from binary, octal, hexadecimal back to decimal. So let's consider these digits. A, B, C, D, and then we have the decimal point here. Then another digit, digits E, F. G. This arrow means that it can be extended to other place values. So if we will convert the binary to decimal, so we will just use the base 2 and take note of the exponents. So after the decimal point to the left, we have 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 3. If you notice, the exponents are increasing integers from 0. So the next one here to the left is 2 to the 4, 2 to the 5, and so on. And at the same time, on the right side, it is decreasing after the decimal point. So we have after the 0, of course, we have negative 1. So we have 2, negative 2, 2, negative 3, 2, negative 4, and so on. So the same thing will happen to octal. It's just that the base is 8. And for hexadecimal, the same thing, but the base is 16. And to find the answer, we'll just multiply the digit or digits and its corresponding base raised to this exponent and then we will add. Okay, to understand this, let's have some examples. So first convert the binary, the following binary to decimal. We have this. So if you notice there is no decimal number, a ah, decimal point I mean. So meaning this zero from the right, so we will always start at the right. This first, this uh, one's place will be 2 raised to 0. So 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 1, and so on. So if you notice, the exponents are increasing to the left. Okay, and then, so we will not include 0 because if we will multiply 0 to a number, then of course the result is 0. So we'll just have this non-zero. So we have 1 times 2 raised to 5. Next, we have 1 times 2 raised to 3. Next, we have 1 times 2 squared. And we have last 1 raised to 2, 0. So you may use your calculator to check the values. And then we will add 32 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1. So therefore, the decimal number of this binary number is 45 base 10 okay let's have an example what if we have a decimal point so right here so again the 2 raised to 0 will start at the ones place once digit place so we have 2 to the 0 2 to the 1 and 2 to the 2 on the right side negative exponent so 2 to the negative 1 2 to the negative 2 2 to the negative 3 and again we will do the same thing we will not include 0 to minimize our time so we have 1 2 squared is equal to 4 then we have 1 times 2 raised to 0 is equal to 1 1 times 2 raised to negative 1 is 1 half or 0 0.5 and last 1 times 2 raised to negative 3 is 0 0.125 Again, you may try to check it or to check these values using your calculators. Then take the sum. 
So therefore, it is equal to 5.625 base 10. Now let's go to octal. So we'll start with no decimal point. So this is a whole number, base 8. So the base now is 8. So we have 8 raised to 0, 8 raised to 1, 8 raised to 2, 8 raised to 3. Again, to minimize our time, we will not include 0. So we have 1 times 8 raised to 3, 7 times 8 raised to 1, and 5 times 8 raised to 0. Then add 512 plus 56 plus 5. So we have 573 base 10. Next, what if we have a decimal point? So 425.27. So again, at the ones place, ones digits place. So we will start with 8 raised to 0. So, so we are from the octal decimal number. So 8 raised to 0, 8 raised to 1, 8 raised to 2. And on the right side, after the decimal point, again, we have the negative exponents. So of course, we have no zero value. So we will multiply 8, 4 times 8 raised to 2, 2 times 8 raised to 1, 5 times 8 raised to 0, 2 times 8 raised to negative 1, 7 times 8 raised to negative 2. And then again, we add. So therefore, this is the decimal value of the given octal number. And last conversion, we have conversion from hexadecimal to decimal. So we have 23E. So take note that E is equal to 14. Okay, so we have no decimal number or decimal point, I mean. So again, so this part will be 16 raised to 0. So 16 raised to 0, 16 raised to 1, and 16 squared. Then again, we'll multiply them. So 2 times 16 squared, 3 times 16, and 14 times 16 raised to 0. You may check this again using your calculator. So add, we have 574 base 10. And last... For this example, if we have a decimal point, so again, we'll convert first the letters. So B is 11, C is 12. So on the, on the ones digit, we have 16 raised to 0, 16 raised to 1, to the left, and 16 squared. Now to the right, of course, to the right of the decimal point, we have the negative exponent. So again, we will multiply the digits and its corresponding base and exponent. So we have 948.78125 base 10. Okay, so you may try this. Convert these values from binary, octal, or hexadecimal and find the decimal values for this. So you may pause the video. And we have the answers from for our first activity or first practice. And we have the answers for our second practice. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something.